what is going on, people. This will be the last review for at least this week, going back to work tomorrow, but I got to watch a whole bunch of movies and more reviews, you know, than I've done in a long time. But anyway, uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, the mo movie I'm reviewing now is Tales of Frankenstein. Um, this is a anthology film that has to solely do with Frankenstein. Uh, there's four short films, uh, or four shorts, should I say, not four short films. But anyway, let me get into it. Uh, it's written and directed by Donald F. Glutt. Hopefully I said that right. It stars John Slythe Barrymore, uh, Buddy Daniel uh, Friedman, and Jim Tabere. Probably horribly butchered that name. But those are the top build. There's a whole bunch of other people. Like I said, it is an anthology film. It is pretty much a horror comedy, I guess you want to call it. Uh, each one has its own special feel to it. Uh, the thing I always say with uh, anthology films, it kind of gives you the option of, you know, there might be a short that you might not like as much, but then there's other ones that you might like more. This one, all four shorts had their own, like, feel to them. Uh, they, um, they had their own little little quirks and you know there was some I definitely liked more than others uh but they all were different from each other they all kind of meshed into like I said pretty much in the beginning you see Frankenstein monster pick up this portrait of Victor Frankenstein and pretty much at that point in time it just rattles off different the different stories but they all have the same picture in them somewhere like it's hanging on a wall or something like that they all have this uh victor frankenstein uh picture so pretty much not going to go way too deep into any of them because again they're like 10 minutes long if that kind of deal so don't really want to go into everything or all details but pretty much the first one uh pretty much is a lost lover i guess you want to call it that way uh the second one has to deal with someone longing for an a heirloom or a um a ring should i say and he has to go to lengths to get this uh the next one definitely different than i expected but it's a crazy doctor, almost like Victor. That, that's the thing, too. They all have some kind of crazy doctor that read up on Victor Frankenstein that got his notes somehow. And each short has some kind of, you know, crazy experiment going on. Uh, the third one, like I said, never seen anything like it. They're with Frankenstein. They're, let's just say at one point in time, there was a, a giant ape. Uh, what well, Not giant ape, but... A big gorilla and then the last one is like a hybrid of Dracula and Frankenstein that one was kind of interesting just the way they kind of put it together kind of deal but like I said four shorts four different things stories with Frankenstein in them somehow some shape or form and then like I said each one has its own little separate like style I guess you want to call it they're all shot in the same vein so like like, say, like, VHS or movies like that, some of the shorts are completely different than each other because, you know, it's it's a different director or something like that. This one, it's the same director, it's the same writer, so each, they flow in the same kind of deal. It might be a different story, but they're all shot the same, they're all, you know, relatively the same. So you're not going to get so much different from each other. The only thing that separates them is, like I said, the plot, the little story that goes with them. Uh, overall, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it, it's something that I didn't I, I didn't know was out. It, it's already out. I think it came out last December, I want to say, on DVD. So I'll leave the link for uh, where you can purchase it. I'll also leave the link for the trailer like I always do in all my uh, reviews and such um, but like I said definitely a little bit different you know does it rank higher up on the anthology films that I've seen before I wouldn't go that far just because you know it I, especially with the last couple of years between trick-or-treat that's one of my favorites of all time uh, uh, tales of Halloween and stuff it kind of falls in between all that because again you know Frankenstein was never my 
monster of choice, I guess you would call it. It was always probably the Wolfman, if anything. But it's interesting. It's an interesting take on who knows if the director is going to go with, you know, each of the monsters kind of deal where you get Tales of Halloween, Tales of Dracula, Tales of the Wolfman or something like that where you get four shorts of each character. So that'll be something different. I, again, I didn't, I don't know because this is another a, a movie that I just found out about. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you're into anthology films, funny you know, goofy little anthology films. This one's definitely for you. Each one, probably if I had to rank them, to tell you the truth, is probably be the vi vampire hybrid, I guess you want to call it. Then the first one with, the, like, the lost lover. Then the one with the gorilla. And then the last one was the one with the, um, with the ring and whatever. Again, not getting into any of them, so you're going to have to watch it to understand what I'm talking about because some of those might have just been, like, what, like, gibberish to you but uh like i said in the description i'll leave the link for the trailer i'll leave the link to where you can purchase the movie and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this review again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoyed this review or just enjoyed the channel and of course hit that little bell button so you know when i upload more stuff also if you haven't check out my top 10 movies of the decade plus honorable mentions but check that out i just recorded that check out you know what movies i enjoyed the most over these past 10 years and uh i guess uh i guess until next time i'll see you guys